have an important role to play. Do rest the opportunity by making the most of, this, of what this platform offers. Express yourselves in the best way that you possibly can by giving yourselves permission not to be shackled by the traditional norms of what does and does not con constitute contemporary African art. See art for what it is and what it can do. It can heal, empower, create, teach, and restore dignity. It can also contribute to cultural understanding and tolerance between people of different races, creeds, and nationality. We need more spaces like these, where artists can showcase their talent. What clearly distinguishes this art fair from any other that I've had the privilege of attending lies in how it gives emerging African artists, as well as artists from the diaspora, a meaningful platform and opportunity to network and collaborate with other artists, to gain exposure to new markets, and to showcase their work in a manner that increases their chances for achieving recognition and success. From Ethiopia, kept in contact with some of the guys from here and collaboration. They've all become um, Facebook friends, and so they chat. Um, quite a few of them picked up collectors here, for instance, Ebony three of our artists from Ethiopia. Like most other markets and industries, still sees the dominance of male artists, curators, and collectors. While there are more female artists, curators, and collectors today than has been the case in the past, the time for actively diversifying the current status quo has come. That this fair has taken art to a new level. While the focus necessarily remains on the artists and exposure, bringing together all forms of art during the coming weeks, which includes visual and performing art, photography, film and video, fashion and culture, urban art, art for change, as well as design and art, is a remarkable stroke of genius. I have no doubt that this art fair will increasingly feature and soon dominate as the number one authentic African art event on the social calendar for all the right reasons. I thank you. Job and who are working there um, every day, you know, moving everyone around. 
shifting, like she getting the economy going in the morning, putting it to bed at night. Like they often, I think, often get overlooked, and especially in our country, you know, cowboys or hooligans. But actually, they, they're human beings. Let the work speak for itself. My name is Aaron Samuel Mulenga. Uh, I'm originally from Zambia. I'm here studying at UCT, um, Kalis. And the work behind me is a project I was doing that was looking at protection. Um, this first one is um, a blanket that mostly uh, it's used by homeless people, prisoners, people in hospitals and some people give them to their dogs and call them dog blankets. So I was looking at value. Um, so I placed the Adidas uh, symbol on the blanket, painted it on two other stripes, and um, I was basically asking what's the value of the blanket now that the Adidas symbol has been used on it. Especially that Adidas is such a big brand and is mass produced, and this blanket is also mass produced. Um, does it elevate the blanket's uh, value, or does it lower the Adidas' value? And then what does it do to the wearer? I'm just really sick at the moment and I haven't slept, so I might say some stupid shit. Yeah. Yeah. What's guys? Okay. And what did you think of the opening of that art fair? I thought it was hot. <laughs> Like the one thing we have learned from our final degree is like the ability to stay up, like full exhibitions, right? Like if anything, that's like the only thing that I learned, like or one of the things that I learned. Right? It's like you can stay up through the night and you can put up artworks and you can paint walls. Like very like intensive time period, like a lot of work. But there was of course like a lot of organization throughout the whole year, last year. So that piece has been like intense high pressure, like very high pressure and setting up was just been like hectic, like this very small team. But like also seeing it from the beginning, like seeing it just like bare walls and then like seeing everything being installed slowly but surely and now the finished product is amazing. Change will not come by merely acknowledging the need for it. Change will come by all of us intentionally and actively being change agents. 